Hi there, welcome back. So let's address the other auctions that we have. So I will address only NDES, okay? QDES is the same. So these are for uh, optimization, chat this, uh, shape design, okay? So, so you want to know a little bit more the theory, what is happening there? You always look here. So for instance, see that NDES is doing no inverse design. No, this is full inverse design. And what we're going to do is to specify you no know, uh, CP distribution velocities, a uh, surface velocity distribution. Now we're going to to say, okay, I want for this velocity surface distribution, what what shape do I need? Okay, it's going to, to optimize or do the inverse design in that way. So kind of this is the method that is used. And probably to recall for the from the theory that you use on complex mapping and that is stuff here, complex ma ma mapping. Enter. So I invite you to go here. You have two modes and this, which is the easiest one, the one I recommend to use. And then you have the other one, QDIS, that is a little bit, a one that is going to give you a little bit more flexibility, but it's very difficult to control. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so we load the airfoil. Okay, so we have it there with the finally and everything. So I will do something else. Okay, I will open. Okay, to under some better another window, the same airfoil, and upper alpha zero. So one important thing that this optimization happens uh, in the is done at, at the B, in B6 in the using the B6 solution. Okay, so we get that one. And also when you do this inverse design or optimization, usually you do it. At cruise conditions, okay, because every single different pressure distribution that you are going to have at different incidence angles, you're going to have different solutions, okay. So you know what will be your 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 operate your operating conditions or cruise conditions for that one for that specific one is the one that you're going to to design. So this is your CP distribution that is related also to the surface velocity distribution, okay. So look at that, we have. We enter here now, in this case, and this, no, and this, yes. And we have many options, okay? So see that it's doing some stuff here, here, related to that complex mapping, okay? And we have all this option, but also see that it's plotting this. What you see here is, is this, exactly this plot, where plot, but now, now we split it in two parts. So here you have bottom top surface, okay? So you always, when you're in doubt, compare with with this one. So bottom surface, top surface, go from trailing edge, leading edge, leading edge, trailing edge. Okay. So as you see here, this is, by the way, this is the, your surface velocity. Q, uh, by the way, Q is not the dynamic pressure. Q here is the surface velocity. So it's normalized. So it's related to this one. CP also for uh, in B is one minus B over B infinite that stuff. So you can get it from there. Okay. So what we're going to do is to select a section of this distribution and we're going to shape it according to what we want. And by doing this inverse operation, inverse design operation, we're going to get the new shape. Okay. So as you look at here as the auction, you have many auctions and just to briefly explain you the auctions that we're going to do to you. So see that you have Modi, like geome geometry design. We use Modi to select some uh, insert new points and then we're going to get a new shape. That's all. Uh, the modifications that we do here are global. So for instance, if I modify something here, this modification might also affect what is here. This is a big difference with the other QDesign. QDesign are local. So you modify here, it's only here. Here, you modify here, you might affect all, also what is happening here. So we're going to see that later. Then you have these auctions smooth, just to smooth that we have this field. It's a filter, hand in feed, filter. Sometimes when you do this inverse design, you can add in the surface, you can add no some, <clears throat> some discontinuities there, or you can have some oscillations and it's not a clean surface. So the, the hand in is, is to smooth this one, to remove any oscillation, okay, or, or steps that you have there in your surface due to, to this inverse design. That can happen. By the way, also sometimes happen when you read in your airfoil coordinate or the source from where you took those airfoil coordinate, it might, might happen that you have 
uh, some noise in your in your coordinates. Okay, there is not a smooth coordinate. You have probably some stair step behavior. So by using this the filter, you you can smooth a little bit the coordinate. It's not say that it, it works perfect, but it's a way. Just you, it will sometimes can give you some some improvement. So what we have here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just modify and then exit to apply that. Okay, then you have some options to visualize, but let's say that modi. So look at, but it's important that you can also design by different angles. So by default, everything is done at zero degrees or, or whatever you have in your buffer. Okay, if I will recall. So see that you are reading this corresponds to zero degrees. But let's say that you want to do something, some inverse design at two degrees. See that you have here. AQ and you put two degrees and then you have the new, the new one. Okay. For our purposes, I will stay at zero degrees. See that this is what we have. So we want to modify this. So let's see that we have modi, type modi, and then enter here and see that you have these options. So you can modify whatever you want. Okay. So remember bottom top surface, and this is your, your leading edge. Okay, so here from here you split everything. So let's say that I want to modify here and see that you insert the points. By the way, this one also you can give coordinate manual, uh, manually. You now there you can read in those coordinates. See that when you're happy, done, and see that now you have that purple line. See that whatever we're doing here, see that it's also affecting somehow this. Okay, instead the other the other inverse design or optimization mode it does not affect it. Let's see that we basically change you now the ve surface velocity distribution to have this shape, and now we're going to do the inverse design to get the shape. So to do that inverse design, so now that you have that, you have exit, and see that is going to do it, and see that. Also precisely, it's not going, it's not going to, to get what, what you're proposing, but it's trying its best. And see that it's doing this, and see that now you have your new coefficients, okay? So see, we have the other one, CL, CN, see that we can compare. So see that this was, wasn't very good for CN, okay? I increased it a lot, but see that you're modifying there, and this is your new shape, okay? So remember that you have buffer airfoils and that stuff. So it's still, this is, you are here, no? We are we, still you don't have this airfoil in your buffer to be ready to use. Okay, you are just doing this stuff. So you can you can run different different uh, <coughs> different iterations now. So you can do another modi. Okay, and for instance, you didn't like this, and you apply. It. So probably this is not very good. So see that you apply the that exit, and see that. You have it there. Okay, so you can run your. So you, as you see, you have to be very careful, and you can also apply this filtering. The so let me go here. Fill so one filter, two filters. Okay, and go back mode. Okay, so the 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 filter is just trying to filter th that, just to. Okay, done to remove any oscillations here we don't see it but you can apply several of those filters and if you have any fluctuation there it's going to this be smooth so see that okay let me stop there that let's say that i'm happy with this okay this is your airfoil okay and as you go to let's say p part look at that still that airfoil you don't have it here so you modify that in end this, but then you need to make it available. To make it av av available, you go in GDES and see that in GDES you have that airfoil. Okay, kind of that end this is recalling this one. And as you recall from the previous videos, that here we need to do the pass. Now we need to go to exit, or as you have uh, GSET to go back to the original one. So if you are happy with this one, exit. And see so that now you have your airfoil in your buffer, and to be sure, people see that. And this is what you modify, okay? And now, if I, you go into upper, voila, your airfoil design. So this is the original one, 
and after that inverse design or optimization uh, iteration, you have this. Again, as you see, it's difficult to control, okay? So this stuff is better in order to do it using parametrical methods, optimization methods. You put it in, in a loop and it's better to control, but you can do it manually. So you're happy with, okay, by the way, you can also run in viscous mode, okay? So, so all this inverse design is doing in viscous, then you run the viscous mode, and all, obviously you, you are going to get, there are some differences, but see that? Nice, I'll see that by adding all the viscous, it's have a nice effect, okay? And this is what we have. So, for instance, you can go back in this and apply another optimization there. So let's say AQ, let me run it. Let's say, say I want to run at two degrees. So see that now it's changing my condition. So everything, it will run that case to get this distribution is the other line at two degrees and then you will, will do Modi. And probably here you can add your points. Also, okay, uh, ah, done. Okay, let me, you have an option there here called um, bam, 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 bam blow that is a zoom let me zoom from here modi and let me say that i want here 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 and here okay so probably this will be much better voila this is much better see that now it's moving that okay and i go exit to apply that and see that have here, always in basic solution. Okay, so on previous one, what we see previously it was a zero degree, by the way. And see that you have an effect there. Okay, so let's say that I'm happy with this. G this, exit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's uh, G this, exit, and Upper alpha 2 and now an alpha 2. Okay, this is our case. And see that you have the basic solution and see that we smooth it a little bit. So see that you, you, you have this noise here. Okay, that is third step behavior. That can happen. Okay, so you shouldn't be worried about that if it's small. Okay, if it is large, okay, something that you, 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 should, you should be careful. But what is happening here is that when you are modifying you know, the geometry, you are modifying the whole stuff you know, in, in this optimize, uh, inverse design. So it might happen that here there are some small oscillation, fluctuation that at that. That is the panel. Okay, you have panel panels that you have some strange orientation between panels and you have that, okay? So you can smooth that, as I say, using that handing filtering, but sometimes it doesn't always, not warranty that it will always work. And to point out also, it is important that this might happen when you are importing air force for external files. Okay, so you can apply that filter to uh, to try to mitigate that. So this is how this, this inverse mapping works, okay? So I want to show you actually that I'm talking about that it might happen when you import a certain external airfoil. So let me show you that I think I have one airfoil that that happens. Okay, so I will load an airfoil. My airfoil is one dot that. If I would recall, that was the right name. Okay, now it's dash one. Okay, we have it. And look at this is the airfoil. If you recall from the electors, this is the airfoil that corresponds to the Honda jet. Jet. So see that as you look at here, you see that it's not perfect. Okay, so see that the panels, you have this orientation that, that changes the angle. It should be something that's smooth. And visually you can share you, you can see the, those oscillations or that is third set behavior. And that will influence your solution. Just to show you, if I go upper and visit alpha. zero see that you have all this behavior that is those panels that they are not oriented now you have problems with the orientation and this case that that is something that might be problematic so we go p bar probably i can increase the panel in to 300 okay 
and see here even see here that what is uh eggfold proposal and see that is putting a lot of panels here because it see that there is a change in curvature so maybe this is a case that you can control this manually to avoid this this clustering okay so well in any case let me go here and run now with more panels and see that didn't help much so a way to try to mitigate that in this case is not going to solve no it's better to just to to use an external source source for and apply some some filtering directly into your input data see that you have all this noise so this this we need to to filter so we can use this hand in filtering so if i go here here fill Okay, see that this is moving a little bit. Apply another, 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 another. See that this moves in there. Okay, probably let me zoom in to visualize that better. Go oh, up. It's blow. Strange name for a zoom, but okay. So feel. See that. Smoothing, 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 and let's say that I'm happy. Exit, and see that there after all those filtering oper uh, operations, see that I have this smooth behavior. Now I'm happy. G this, exit, open, alpha zero, and see that now I smooth it. Okay, so in this case, we, we had to apply a lot of filters. Okay. So see that we, it worked, but that is not good. That, that means that your original data, you have problems. So it might be better to check those coordinates, to shift a little bit more those panels to have everything perfectly aligned. But by using that filtering, we managed to, to get something, let's say good. Bis, viscous mode, and let me run here, zero. And Ether 100 and alpha zero so see that this case is having problems okay even if we smooth it at the level of the of the basic solution the viscous one is having so let me go out uh, in it alpha zero might be the problem there okay yes mm, not good not good so let me go alpha two, sometimes larger. So, so probably alpha two, yeah, is much better. Okay. So see alpha two is better. So you have one noise, we managed to mitigate it, but the invasive is, is, is clean, but we have problems there. Okay. So, well, we talk about, I think we cover a lot of stuff. I'm not going to talk about QDS. QDS is kind of very similar to what we have done, but in QDS, now whatever you choose uh, to modify one section of this surface velocity and you just apply that modification here okay so you will have some other options that you need to mark the region where you want let me go here you need to mark the region so you mark a region and then it will modify that region but this is a little bit more more difficult to control than the other one okay because you modify only here but sometimes the, those modifications are too large Okay, instead in the other one you do a modification and it's all propagated all around to have continuity in the curvature of, of the shape here there is no war warranty on that so that's all also we study important how to try to to remove that noise in the coordinate so i didn't uh, i think we covered most of the important scenes there are some scenes that i didn't cover but just explore that okay it's on additional options but we covered the most important stuff uh very important read this short documentation well not so short but it's a very nice documentation you can get more information there and i think that's all okay so the next video i'm just going to show you how to plot the data using uh external application i will going to use python but you can use whatever you want what is important is that you need to have this information okay so see that in my case that you have the link you can download this data see that you have these outputs so you can this one so i'm going to show you how to do it using python so that's all thank you very much for your attention see you next videos bye